I hope you like hectic videos because this is sure going to be one. What's up you guys, it's Gracie and I leave in less than 24 hours to go on a 10 day Christmas markets Europe trip with my best friend and roommate from semester at sea, Sydney. I'm so excited, we had this trip planned for only about a month, but let me tell you, I have not packed at all. Guys, I'm not a last minute person and I think the last time I was packing for something it was super last minute, but I don't know what it is. I just felt like I could do it really quick and the answer is I absolutely can't. I have nine million things, I think I'm going to be freezing, I haven't even gotten out my suitcase and I'm stressed, but I thought I'd bring you along on a pack with me for a cold weather trip because I haven't done one of these. I'm wearing this super cute new sweater I literally got in the mail and threw it on from my management company. So adorable. I also spent $800 at Nordstrom Rack today. Don't worry, most of it's going back. And some of them are like gifty items like Barefoot Dreams blankets. If you have a Nordstrom Rack around you, guys, these are $60 right now. Such a steal for these blankets. I gift them to so many people. Like last year, I gifted them to every woman in my life, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, lots of boots, lots of sweaters, gloves, warm hats, cuffs, all the stuff is coming out. Let's go get my suitcase and let's pack for this 10 day Europe trip to London, Budapest, and Vienna. Are you gonna help me pack, Dexter? Are you gonna help me pack? No, he won't. He will not help me pack. You already know we're pulling out the big gun for this one. Uh-oh. <laughs> I hope I got that on camera. Okay, we got her. The unfortunate part is only getting 50 pounds to pack winter stuff is gonna be a struggle for me. Let's get packing. I'm not very good in the cold. I'm not built for the cold. I'm born and raised Florida girl, but we're gonna attempt to do this. I went to Nordstrom Rack today and attempt to find a second coat because I have this really cute white coat that I've just had from trips to New York, different things like that. And my black coat no longer fits. So my goal was to go in there and find another black coat, but I ended up finding this one, which I think is my favorite. This is a Michael Kors jacket, again, from Nordstrom Rack. Maybe not jacket, maybe you wanna call this more coat or pea coat. I don't know what you wanna call it, but it's pretty warm. So I think I'm gonna bring this one and if by any chance I have extra room or weight or anything, it would be this one that I found at Nordstrom Rack with this black, but the goal is to bring the tan and let me find the white. Here's the white one that I have. It's so cute. It's got the little detachable hood with the fur on it, but it is so soft and so warm. So I'm gonna bring this one and the tan one and then we'll see if I have room for the black one. Highly doubt it. The one thing I'm not packing is my plain outfit. This is what I'm wearing tomorrow. I got this off Amazon. It's linked to my storefront. I made a whole TikTok about it because I am literally obsessed. There are so many colors. I ordered three more. But I picked a funky color, but I really like it. It reminds me like Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know, but like orange and pink pants. And it comes, oh, dropped it. It comes with this sweater. It's so comfy. I'm going to be wearing this, obviously, all day tomorrow, sleeping in this. So this is going to be worn to the airport. Guys, I don't even know where to begin because I'm a big try -er on her. I really wanna try on my outfits before I pack them and I'm just like not in the mood to try on. So I think my goal is to lay out things and then maybe try them on. I did a whole Abercrombie try on my TikTok. If you guys don't follow me, I'm trying to like be more active on TikTok and I picked out my favorite. Which are in this stack, so I'm gonna create outfits like these leather pants that are literally falling right now. For example, these leather pants, this bodysuit are such a cute outfit and I wanna wear these together. Maybe these pants that I got today which are kind of crazy they're dual tone like maybe this could go with them this would be something I'd have to try on these black corduroy Levi's that I got today I don't even know if you can tell that they're corduroy you can't really but these are so cute this bodysuit that I got super thin this would be like put on at night go to dinner wear an extra layer coat kind of a thing this would not be something I'd probably wear all day but like this is cute together I also have this little sweater that I got at Nordstrom Rack today I think this could be great with like just plain skinny jeans I'm still a skinny jean girl I don't care what you say I like dark wash skinny jeans I like how they make me look I'm bringing them and these ones are from Abercrombie and I think that this turtleneck bodysuit from Abercrombie could look good with those skinny jeans as well okay guys we're making progress that's three full days of outfits and a night of an outfit another pair of leather pants these ones are from Zara I love these I actually got these from a European Zara I've tried this already on with another green bodysuit I don't know why I'm obsessing over green and black but I have this green bodysuit that I bought at I think a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls and this looked really good with these jeans another outfit that could be super cute and Christmassy also while I was in Alabama I pulled out a bunch of sweaters and jackets that I had so I'm gonna look through this and see if I want to bring any of these for example love this BB Dakota Steve Madden sweater this would be really cute with jeans or black jeans like maybe these could even look cute with the black corduroys I have this turtleneck sweater that I think could look good with any of the blacks because it's cream and black 
I think I'm just gonna pack this one. And then I have this sweater, which is so thick and long. It actually looks really good with leggings, although I don't know if I'm really bringing leggings. I'm bringing thermal leggings to put under things. These look good with like Spanx faux leather leggings, so I'd have to try this on with either some leather pants or some other jeans, but this is a really cute top. This is from Shop the Retail Therapist like two years ago, but it is thick. Another sweater I have, this is from 27 Miles Malibu. It's cashmere. It is so soft. This was PR from quite a bit ago, but this has these little black stars on the arms. Again, could look good with black. Here are those fleece-lined thermal leggings that I said I was going to bring just for an extra layer of warmth. And another 27 Miles Malibu little sweater. This one's super cute. Cable knit on one side, regular knit on the other. Maybe another thing to try on with these pants. That kind of looks like a really good match, actually. So, Put this in the try on pile. If all of that works, that's 11 outfits and that is enough for me. So I'm going to definitely start to pack up the things I know that are for sure coming and then reluctantly try on the rest. Other things that are super easy to pack right off the bat. Like if I had one thing right off the bat that I would tell you to do first, it's sock, underwear, bras, all those kinds of undergarments and different things that you can just get out of the way and know that you have packed. That's actually what I'm gonna do first to make sure that I don't forget them. I have the large away bag. I've had it since my senior year of high school. This part is kind of broken off, so whatever yours probably doesn't come out if you have an away. Or I would suggest using a packing cube if you don't. But this is where I put all of my undergarments and different things like that. In terms of underwear and socks, I'm always an overpacker. I mean, I'm an overpacker in general, but especially on those items because you never know. I'd rather be safe than sorry, so I'm just going to pack a pair or two extra of every single thing just in case. Also, my friend Rox gave me these really cool compression socks, so I think I'm going to be putting these in my carry-on so I can wear them while I'm sleeping. Also on Amazon, linked on my storefront on recently purchased, I bought these thicker like boot socks and I also bought these Hanes one in attempt to like double layer socks so I'm gonna pack some of these and socks I know that I love. I've never tried either of these but we're going for it. The Hanes on them is pink. Uh, it's perfect. As you can see it's really full with all the items. The only other two things I'm gonna stick in here is my retainer case and my sleep mask because I just cannot go without those but this is gonna get thrown in the bag for now. Another thing I pack pretty early on into the process are pajamas. Again another super easy thing so I'm gonna pack a mix of like warmer pajamas and just like regular pajamas. For an example, these PJ Harlows are an absolute must. I call these my mom pajamas. It's like joggers and a long sleeve. These will keep me warm. I also have this set, which is a long sleeve and a shorts. My little Kayla also has a matching. And then I'm also going to do this black, super soft little set from Amazon. I feel like for 10 days, three pajamas is plenty. I'd rather pack four, but I'm going to leave that weight for something else. I don't know what that something else is, but I feel like that's the smarter decision to make. Gloves. These are going to be a must for me. Um, they don't look really warm, but they feel warm on the inside. They say they're tech gloves. I actually haven't even tried it out. They say they're tech gloves and they do work and uh, it might not be the warmest but I'll also stick my hands in my pockets. Also got these off Amazon. They also should be linked under my recently purchased. Because I don't want to try on anything else, I also have to move everything off this bed before I go to bed so I'll have to figure that out. I'm going to try things on in the morning. Probably not the best decision but it's what I want to do. So what I'm going to do now is make sure that everything is charged. My Kindle, obviously my phone's going to be charged. Charging on my MacBook tonight, making sure I have all of my chargers, all kinds of miscellaneous things. So this super cool product if you guys have AirPods or anything like that that you ever want to watch the TV screens on the airplane. This is really cool. I'm going to be trying it out on my flight tomorrow. It is called, I don't know, Connect Air. Also linked on my storefront under tech gadgets and recently purchased. This is a must have for me, so I'm going to have to put this where I can reach it best. Another thing I'm going to work on right now is jewelry. This is a little jewelry box. Brady actually got me this for my 22nd birthday. I think it's from Mark and Graham. It is really so special and it says Gracie on it. You can't really tell, but you can tell in person. And I'm going to pack up all my earrings and all of my accessories as well as start on my bathroom stuff and that'll keep me occupied for the rest of the night so that I have time to try on all these clothes in the morning. I'm a try your honor, you know? I can't just put things in a bag and know it'll work together. I just like really can't trust the process like that so we're gonna definitely have to try these things on. Good morning! I just woke up which is why I still look terrible. I need a full on shower today which is why my hair is still like this but I am for whatever reason in the mood to try on some stuff so I'm going to get on to trying my outfits because I leave today. I'm so excited if you can't tell. Obviously not everything is packed. Everything is still laying up here that I need to try on. So what I'm gonna do is take like the next 30 minutes or so and try on everything that I have that I might bring. Okay, so while I've been running around like a freaking mad woman after my shower and just kind of trying to get a bunch of stuff done, I have been listening to my Audible audiobook the entire time. You guys know that I've been so into my audiobooks recently because it doesn't require me to have to sit down and to read a book. When I'm always on the go, I love to listen to Audible. Audible has an incredible selection of audiobooks from bestsellers to new releases, celebrity memoirs, mysteries, thrillers, 
anything that you could want when it comes to an audiobook app, Audible has. I'm actually finishing up the last thing he told me. I'm on the edge of my seat because I am at the very end. If you guys haven't listened to it, you totally should because as an Audible member, you do get one credit each month to pick from their bestsellers, new releases, or any Audible audiobook that they have. It's really like the home of storytelling. I absolutely love it. It's so great for on the go. So join me and let Audible help you laugh, be inspired, be entertained. You guys, if you're new members, you can get your first 30 days for free by going to audible.com slash Gracie or texting Gracie to 500 500 today. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm gonna get back to my Audible audiobook and finish up the rest of the things that I have to do here and then we're gonna get on our way for some returns. Okay, so here's the first thing I tried on this sweater. I've had since like sophomore year of college, but I've only ever worn it twice. It's not on the whole, I don't really care, but it's just cream with black stripes and I put them on with these black pants and my tan boots and I think that this is a fit. I don't know if I'm gonna like tuck it. I think tucking looks better than leaving it out, but I'm sweating in this, so I told my mom I think that's a good sign that it's gonna maybe keep me a little bit warm. The other top that I'm gonna bring with these pants, I have already tried on, so I'm not gonna try it on again, but it is this. Sweater knit bodysuit from Abercrombie. I did a little Abercrombie haul on my TikTok, so if you're interested in that, go click on that. But these will also go with these little like crisscross pants. Are white pants cool to wear in Europe? I put on this outfit to decide that. I love this little sweater. I got this at Nordstrom Rack yesterday. I think it's so cute, a little thick. Then I have these white Levi pants on, just kind of like straight leg pants. I think this outfit is cute. Is it gonna work in Europe? I don't know, but I am gonna bring it like this instead of with the dark wash jeans I was gonna go with because I think this is a lot cuter especially with my new coat that I brought. So this is another outfit that I'm packing. Okay, can we please just imagine this for a second? I sort of unbuttoned my pants because I'm about to take them off, but <gasps> with my little coat, I'm so excited. Okay, another one I just wanted to check on. This is a Steve Madden BB Dakota sweater. I just love all of the little detailing on the sleeves. And then I paired it with the new corduroy Levi's, so black on black, and I'm gonna wear black boots. But I'm not necessarily bringing a black jacket, so I'm going to try on the white. There's a hit or miss for some people, but I think it's cute. I tried, like, kind of tucking it up in my bra to wear with the pants, and I don't love it. I don't hate it either, but I'm also bringing a pair of fleece lined leggings, so maybe I would wear this the day that we are flying from London to Budapest so that I could wear it like this, but with the little thermal fleece leggings under it, or I'm bringing black sweatpants, but I still think... It's worth a bring and it's very warm. I don't know why I just did this. <laughs> it's warm. Okay, you have to imagine because I just didn't take off the pink bra underneath. But neutral on neutral on neutral on neutral on neutral. I kind of like this. I at first tried on this little sweater and didn't love it. But then I put on this bodysuit and I was like, okay, better. And then I put on this and I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. I like the neutral vibes. I've kind of been liking these two-tone Levi's. Again, got these from Nordstrom Rack. This is Abercrombie. This is J. Crew that I've had forever. I don't even know if it zips. Here is the little look with the Sam Edelman boots. And I'm going to pack this one. And I'm going to pack this sweater regardless. And who knows? I'll decide day of if I'm wearing them with these pants or just with dark skinny jeans actually that I'm about to try on. And the last one, super basic, one of my new favorite bodysuits because y'all, this is the softest thing ever. It's from Abercrombie, a little turtleneck, a bodysuit, and just these Abercrombie skinny jeans because I like skinny jeans. Like I said, I'm gonna continue to wear them. And then I'll have these jeans in case I wanna wear the other sweater with them. And that's everything I needed to try on. So I'm feeling really, really good about this. And now I just gotta figure out how to pack it up all in this suitcase without overflowing and without being over 50 pounds. So that's now the struggle. I would get the laughs at least on video because it's a little full. I have no clue how much it weighs and I don't even want to, oh my God. <laughs> um, yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I just like don't know what else to do, so. Okay. <laughs> so I can get this closed for sure, but there is a pair of pants right here that's kind of blocking the zipper and there's space on this side. So I'm gonna quickly rearrange and then we're gonna try again. Okay, take two. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna be a problem. This is really heavy. Um, okay, maybe I will have to try and figure out a way to weigh this. Although the scale that we have in this house, first of all, I do not like getting on, and second of all, it's not very accurate. So, hmm. <laughs> if that scale is correct, uh, my bag is 61 pounds, so I just don't even know what to do. So I feel like either way, I'm kind of screwed on the weight being 11 pounds over. Like, they won't even let that fly. But what I do have inside of here is a little fold-up duffel that I can put stuff in and have as my second carry-on because I am only currently bringing a backpack. This is the outfit I'm going to change into next. Then I got to put my purse away. Basically, I still have a carry-on item available because I'm only bringing a personal item. So that is how I'm going to justify bringing the 11 extra pounds is by putting it in that duffel. Don't really feel like doing that right now. Here's what I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna try and get away with it I know it's probably not gonna work But I will just pull off to the side and pull out the extra weight if I need to if my scales wrong I really I do not trust that scale. I know that this bag feels heavy. Do I think it feels 11 pounds over heavy? I actually I don't know, but I'm gonna try and go for it worst case scenario I pull out stuff I have a personal item or a carry-on item that I can still bring so I'm not too worried It's currently 240. I wanted to leave here at 3 o'clock, but I think I'm gonna be able to leave here actually in the next few minutes i'm going to bring that out of my car my laptop is charging and i still have my chargers open and my laptop case to put in my backpack and then i'm going to bring a comfy cozy little outfit to brady's and change there because i like to be in those kinds of clothes like absolutely as last second as I can possibly be. So that's the goal. I also am going to figure out at the airport, maybe I'd get a second checked bag for free. I just thought about that because I did upgrade my cabin. So I'll have to maybe Google or ask at the airport and see. Everything otherwise is clean, put away, and I'm ready to freaking go. I'm so excited. I'm so ready. Cindy and I have been talking all morning. That is essentially all of the packing with me packing. I'm going to make sure that I update you at the airport because I'm sure that you're curious. Did all my packing actually work? Yes or no? And how am I getting away with this? So I will see you guys at the Miami airport. Well, no, this is not the Miami airport. This is our hotel here in Europe. I'm actually editing this video realizing I was so stressed at the airport. I could literally have a whole story time about my Uber to the airport. It was absolutely insane. My guy ended up stopping for gas when he still had three quarters of a tank and we had 40 miles left. He ended up only putting in three gallons in his car. All this stuff basically almost made me super late to my flight with all the Miami traffic because we got stuck in even more traffic because he stopped. So when I got to the airport, I was on the verge of tears and luckily I was smart and right before I left I learned that I did get to check bags with my fare on Virgin So basically what I did was took out my heaviest shoes and all my toiletries and stuck them in the actual little duffel And I was perfectly fine. I had like 7 kilograms and 20 kilograms So I would have been over the 23 kilogram mark for Virgin going to the UK So I'm so glad that I ended up doing that before I left the house Anyway, I just thinking about going back to the Miami airport makes me so stressed, but I did it. I packed it all it was 27 kilograms and I only got 23 but again I had that duffel my personal item which was my backpack and the bag so far everything that I brought has come in handy it is so cold here and here for these Christmas markets holy moly who let me do this I am not a cool vacation girl I think I've decided but it has still been so much fun I love you guys so much I hope that you enjoyed this pack with me make sure you stay subscribed down below so you don't miss any more videos and I will see you guys soon bye